Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review. With me, Peter, the Master of Puppets, again joined by Jakob, the Lord of Bolts. Yeah, and it's done Jakob. Jakob. Yeah, J A K. Jacob. Yeah, but we just say Jakob in Danish. So J A K O B. Jacob. Boom. Yes. But this is, uh, we're going to be reviewing a beer from Lagunitas, and this is their Wilco Tango Foxtrot. And it's basically their Imperial Brown Ale they do for the winter season. Uh, or the, I think it's fall slash winter, I'm not entirely sure, but it's, it's definitely seasonal. Uh, it says multi, multi robust jobless recovery ale. I don't know why it says jobless, but oh well. We're not quite in the red or in the black. Does that mean we're in the brown? <laughs> 7.85 percent alcohol. They're very precise, and it's got a book description that I'm not going to read aloud. Well, 59 I've used, and yeah. yeah. But Imperial Brown Ale. I'm not the biggest fan of brown ales, but this could this could be interesting. I don't know if it's hoppier. Have you I've, had it? I've had it a couple of times actually. Oh cool. Well, it's going to be my first time trying it, so yeah, let's get it cracked. So we got the Lagunitas WTF. <laughs> yeah. Poured, and definitely looks like a brown ale. Yeah. It's like that kind of ruby brown. Color. Yeah. Lightly hazy, a nice little off white beige looking head. Yep. Yeah, let's take on the aroma. Yeah, I think this has been a little more hoppy than this is. It yeah. does have a hop, kind of older hop aroma, but definitely it smells like a brown ale. A lot of nutty notes, but with a more hop, adi a bigger hop addition, like yeah, some citrusy it notes. Yeah, smells like a hoppy barley wine or an old. Yeah, hoppy I think it smells like a Indian brown ale, as people call yeah. it, but. A little bit of that, some grassy citrusy notes. Caramel. Yeah. Caramel, toffee, toasted nuts. I really like the addition of the hops though, but it does have a little bit of that tea leaf. Yeah, maybe a little hazelnut. Yeah. Nutty note. Yeah. But that said, it, it doesn't smell bad, but it's it, it's not super enticing either for no. a Lagunitas beer. But that might also just be because I'm not the biggest fan of brown ales. Um, but yeah, probably. Yeah, a lot of nuts, a lot of caramel, toffee, all that stuff. You want to give it a taste? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> that's actually pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty tasty. You can feel, mm. it doesn't feel super hoppy, but you can definitely feel that's been a little bit of a hop backbone to it. Yeah. Because it still has some citrusy kind of notes and all. A little bit of a, a, a older hop, that tea leaf flavor. Some toffee notes, toasted maltiness, um, caramel. It's got a little bit of a dark fruit flavor, yeah. well, I think, like a fruit ester. But other than that, it's got like that subtle hop nuance. I'm actually getting a slightly peachy note, even though it's like it tastes a little bit old. Yeah. Um, and then like the the kind of toasty toffee kind of stuff. Yeah, well, it's, it's, not it's, super more, it's, it's more subdued. Uh, yeah. Well, in some ways, it kind of reminds me of the. Yeah, beer here, kind of citrus. Yeah, when you don't one. have it fresh. Yeah, actually, well, I'm yeah. getting a little. I was getting a little bit of chocolate there, but yeah, yeah. it reminds. Like I, I can see what you're saying. Mm. It, it is kind of like the kind of citra, but it's just not as fresh, of course. Uh, but if you have the kind of citra with a little bit of age, it's kind of like this. Even though this is a little more alcohol. Yeah, uh, for yeah. or something. Yeah, a little more of an alcohol backbone, if you can say it like that. But rating wise, for me on this one, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, an 80, 82. It's a pretty tasty kind of brown, imperial brown ale. I would have loved to try it fresh because you can taste that it has had a little more of a hop character. Um, yeah, and it, I like the little bit, there's a little bit of a, like a dark fruity ester in there too. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go 85. There. And, oh yeah, I didn't even consider that the price. Yeah. <laughs> In, uh, in Denmark, at least. Yeah. Well, 54 kroners is pretty It's less It's less than $10 for a bomber, and we're used to paying like 15 to 18 for a bomber of American beer. And I think it's like 4 to $6 in the States for a bomber, so... Yeah, pretty cheap. If it $10 yeah. must sound outrageous. <laughs> it's Denmark, but it's, it's, it's pretty tasty. It's a nice brown ale. Definitely something I'd drink, uh, especially if I could get it fresh. Yeah. So, yeah. An 82 for me and an 85 from Yako. For the Lagunitas Wilco Tango Fro Foxtrot or WTF. Definitely let us know what you think of this one, guys. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're going to say cheers. cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.